I'm drinking this Immunity Boost juice, which has carrot, ginger, apple, lemon, and turmeric. And it's actually really good. It tastes pretty good. I think I might have some juice on my face. Oops. Anyway, hi guys. So Radhi and I have been recently talking about instant gratification and how that kind of plays a role in our lives. And we love that there is such a great emphasis on living in the moment these days because always thinking about the future, what the next steps are, can be quite stressful because a lot of it depends on factors that you have no control around. So we do really appreciate how our society or at least our generation is going more towards living in the moment and enjoying our present. But also on the flip side, I feel like living in the moment has sort of become this way of forgetting about your problems and just being happy and I don't know it makes me wonder if that's actually living in the moment so I consider myself to be a happy person overall but if I didn't sit with my feelings that may be a little uncomfortable at times I wouldn't truly be happy I wouldn't really know what happiness feels like because it would be hard for me to differentiate between when I'm truly happy or when I'm faking it by forgetting about my problems so for example, there are days where I don't feel like going to my dance class or working out because I'm just feeling lazy, but I still get myself up and go. And I acknowledge that I'm feeling lazy, but I know that when I get up and do something that gives, that makes me energized, I'll feel good. So in a way, the whole living in the moment concept feels like we are moving more towards instant gratification. and. When we strive to achieve that instant gratification, we're actually looking for that dopamine rush that isn't sustainable, nor is it truly living in the moment. In a way, when we look for things that give us immediate happiness, we're kind of separating ourselves from our conscience and we're trying to create a different reality for us that doesn't exist. And at the end of the day, I feel like instant gratification is just a scapegoat from reflecting on what's truly going on in our lives and doing what it takes to get to a place where we want to be. And that requires effort and that's hard, which is why I feel like sometimes we look for that dopamine rush because we don't want to face the music or we don't want to do what's hard and requires real effort. It can be hard sometimes to keep your eyes on the prize and obviously there's things like hustle culture and toxic productivity which we have a whole another video on by the way we'll link it up here on the screen somewhere but why can't there be a balance why does it have to be always either grinding it out for the long term or focusing only on immediate right now benefits for example, recently I've almost completely given up alcohol and it's not like I ever had a problem with like overconsumption or abusing it, but I just realized I didn't exactly like the way it made me feel. And I don't mean hangovers necessarily, although those can be really bad too, but I'm talking about how just energetically dull and bleh it makes me feel even after drinking just like one glass of wine. And this isn't to say that I think everyone should stop drinking or that I look down upon people who do drink, but for me, I've realized it just isn't worth it anymore to go through those feelings that I don't necessarily like just for that temporary satisfaction or temporary feeling of like fitting in with a group of people. Same goes with working out and eating healthy. One way to make these healthy choices for yourself is by focusing on how it's gonna feel afterwards. Especially when you don't wanna cook and you're just feeling lazy and ordering pizza up or takeout just seems so much easier and so much yummier. For me, I've also been trying to work out more regularly and be more consistent in that routine. And I prefer working out in the mornings, but right after waking up, I don't always feel like putting on like workout clothes and pulling out my yoga mat and doing an intense workout. And it just seems so much easier to just, you know, have like a more relaxing morning and just make coffee and just listen to music or something like that. But I know that even with like a 15 minute workout, I'm going to feel so good afterwards. So I force myself to get dressed and pull out that yoga mat and put on like a workout video or something um, just because I know how I'm gonna feel afterwards and how it's gonna set the tone for the rest of my day. We as a society have just polarized ourselves so much into these two different extremes and it's really hard finding that balance now. It's either live in the moment, live like there's no tomorrow, 
or it's the complete opposite where people are sacrificing and giving up their current pleasures and current life in order for some uncertain and unclear future. We really encourage you guys to evaluate and reflect on where in your life you're making these choices and how you're thinking through all your actions. It might not even be health related necessarily. It could literally be something like calling up and hanging out with that one person you know is not good for you just so you have someone to hang out with in the moment and something that feels good temporarily. We hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, we love talking about things that are on our mind and hopefully hearing us talk about it has a little bit of impact on your lives as well.